Namaste, Vadipa and good evening. Uh, my name is Aparna Patrana, I am the director of Swami Vivekananda Cultural Centre. This evening, we are all gathered to celebrate Chattapati Shivaji. A warm welcome to all of you to the event. Mm -hmm. Chattapati Shivaji, the very name invokes pride and patriotism. For Indians, Shivaji's name symbolizes courage, strength, intelligence and freedom. As India today moves from strength to strength in this year of Azadika Amrita Khatsar, it is indeed relevant and important that we celebrate one of India's greatest heroes. The coronation of Shivaji is a momentous event in India's history as it has great historical and contemporary significance both from the Swarajya or independent rule and Swarajya or good governance point of view. To begin the celebrations, I request our Ambassador, Her Excellency Mrs. Kuchita Dubai, <coughs> Councillor Mr. Ashwin Kotnus, Mr. Ranjit Rajabhonsi, uh, Guru Murli Mohan Kalakalwa, Mr. Amit Vaikar and Ms. Artika Kulkarni, and Mr. Anand Kumar to kindly come forward to light the land and start the Please come forward. I also request all the dignitaries to offer floral to be to the portrait of Shri Swaraj Maharaj. Shivaji was born in the Shivaneri fort in 1630 to Shahji and Jitabai. From the 8th century onwards, there were many external aggressions on Thai. Though it was consistent with the social kings and of society, the impact of these invasions on the national psyche was devastating. It was Shivaji and other Jitabai who inspired and allowed for independence and the distance for external domination. Dadaji Kondabe was his this foundation led to Shivaji forming his own army of young boys, later graduating to free territory from external enemies, to 
to building forts and the navy. On 6 June 1674, she was the first crown Chattopathy Oriental. We are now request her excellency in the speech to her to make her opening. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished participants, uh, good evening to the star Savali Khan. Uh, everything that I would have wished to have said, I think, has already been said by the director. So there is uh, very little that I can add. Uh, but as she has said, uh, you know, the very name of uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji um, connotes several things uh, about all. Uh, one recalls the stories of uh, incredible valor and uh, of uh, military strategy uh, that he utilized. Uh, but of course, uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji was much more than a military general uh, who later, of course, became the emperor. Uh, he was uh, notable for, for many distinguished qualities. Uh, as a ruler, he was also a very great administrator and he was known for his uh, good governance. Uh, he uh, was committed to uh, fundamental human values, uh, to the principle of social justice and uh, uh, every one of his subjects um, enjoyed equality and freedom. He um, established uh, a very progressive rule uh, with the help of uh, both a disciplined military as well as a very well structured uh, administration. As uh, uh, the, the director has said, he espoused uh, the concept of uh, Swarajya by which uh, you know the people themselves um, rule uh, the area that. Uh, is theirs. Um, he was of course a very pious uh, Hindu uh, but he showed equal respect uh, to people of all religions. Uh, significantly, uh, his treatment of women uh, was something really notable because um, unlike uh, you know the stories that one hears uh, of that period, uh, you know, the conquerors uh, ill-treating or abusing, uh, you know, the women of the conquered land, he never did so. Uh, in fact, um, uh, many uh, of his uh, uh, adversaries, uh, in fact, are said to have utilized that uh, to escape, uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, from his own conquering army. Uh, uh, so, um, as has been said, uh, during our national movement, uh, he became a symbol, in fact, uh, of uh, uh, India's uh, national pride. Uh, and that is why, uh, you know, every child in all parts of the country are familiar with the story of uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji. Uh, India, uh, the historians, uh, you know, uh, generally look at India's history from the continental viewpoint. So therefore, the continental view of history uh, emphasizes the territorial aspect of what happened, uh, you know, towards India's north or India's northwest. But we also have a very significant maritime tradition which has continued through the ages because India has of course 1,500 kilometers of coastline and that is a very important aspect of our history. So Shivaji, uh, you know, uh, recognized that and in fact uh, the Maratha Navy uh, which dominated the western Indian coast during the 17th and 18th century particularly uh, was very well known uh, for its uh, naval prowess. In fact, many believe 
Now that laid the foundations of the uh, Indian Navy. So uh, I'm very happy that uh, the Swami Vivekananda's Cultural Center has organized uh, an event uh, to honor his memory and to celebrate, uh, you know, all the aspects that he, uh, you know, symbolizes. And uh, uh, with that, I close. Thank you very much. I'm sure you will be anxious to hear all the others speaking as I am. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. <clears throat> Shivaji is extremely relevant even today. He was a master strategist, a great military commander, an able administrator, and a people's king. He is famous for his guerrilla warfare and his strategy to use speed and surprise to defeat even the strongest enemies. Ms. Arpita Kulkarni, the president of the Maharashtra Association, will share some inspiring lessons from Shivaji. Khan's defeat. 
of Santhanu's Nukulita. He was, after all, a seasoned officer of the of uh, Adil Shahi Fort. To draw Shiva out, Afzal Khan attacked the most revered temples of Tulzapur and Pandarpur, destroyed the temples, defiled the idols, atrocities, many more atrocities, and yet Shiva held his stance. He still sent out the same message. I have already accepted my mistake. I have already confessed. And I am ready to go with you. Then why all this? Please come and fetch me. Thus, fully convinced that Shiva must be really scared. For he did not even retaliate when these instances, these atrocities were met out. Afzal Khan finally reached Pratapgarh and he met his end there. And we all know the story, what followed later on. But an important lesson in this incident is once when you have understood your strengths and weaknesses and you have chopped out a plan to achieve your objective, stay, stay true to your course. Do not move away. No matter how strong the triggers, the negative triggers, provocations, because still keeping force will ensure that ensure or increase the possibility of you finally being This is a very important lesson, keeping calm and keeping, maintaining your composure even when provoked. That is something which I think all of us can utilize in our daily lives. That's what analysis has done, did that always work? Escape from Manala. Uh, Shiva had chosen a place and time of his choice and yet, <coughs> Chances of being captured by the patrolling units of Siddhi Johar were very high. He just did not rely on this fortunate or appropriate time. He had a plan B. In the eventuality of a capture, Shiva's bar barber, Shiva, who had dressed up as Shivaji, would go to Siddhi Johar's camp, living Maharaj, precious few hours to escape further. Sending someone in the jaws of death, literally. Knowing fully well that you may not, you are asking someone or sacrificing his life. It was not an easy decision. But it also teaches us that even in our daily lives, be it professional or personal, more so in personal and corporate life, we do have to take certain hard calls. We do have to take certain unpleasant decisions. Mm -hmm. But if you have your objective firmly in your sight, these are the calls you have to make. As including Shiva, everybody believed if one soldier fell, tens and thousands would rise. If one officer fell, hundreds would come and take his place. But God forbid, if something happened to this visionary of a leader, all would have been lost for nothing and for nothing. So, for the larger good and for achieving your final objective, making those hard choices, taking those unpleasant decisions is something that we need and that takes even more courage. Um, much has been said about Shiva's uh, Dalimikawa. He was known for it. Shiva's uh, uh, warfare, something which has been guerrilla warfare technique, which has been used say, even in the 20th century for the uh, freedom fight in Vietnam. And they have openly acknowledged that they have taken a group out of Shiva's uh, life story and utilized this warfare. And it had met with success. For the younger ones in our audience, what is the Nimikawa basically? It's a warfare technique. Shiva more often than not was pitched against adversaries that outnumbered him mostly. He was always outweighed in weaponry and ammunition. What did Shiva do? When such a huge enemy is advancing, Shivaji Maharaj literally chose a place, a bottleneck on the path of this enemy. 
where and he helped us there with whatever limited resources he had. And this bottleneck made enemy to fall ranks, to move in smaller files, and to pass these passes, literal passes, in smaller batches, and then attacking or tackling enemy in these smaller batches, one after the other, was easy. Not easy, but easy and possible. And that's how he fought many of his battles and that's how he won. So an enemy that's moving on with this kind of strength that could have engulfed and defeated you was forced to move this way and then cut out eventually. Now we are not all soldiers, we, we are not posted at borders and we are not fighting any wars. But as common people, we are most of the times pitched against great adversities. And we really feel like giving up at times. What we learn from Nani Kawa is, instead of getting overwhelmed by a huge complex problem, again use what analysis, understand your strengths and weaknesses. Bring down this entire complex problem into multiple small problems and then tackle them one after the other. That's our own Ganini Kawa that can be implemented in our life. There are many, many more such lessons Shivara has taught which are not uh, beneficial only for good governance or only for fighting wars but in our daily life. Also. The wars that we talk about, who fought these wars? Shiva, the barber who went and sacrificed himself to save, save Shiva, he was a barber. Shiva Navi, um, Santaji, Dhanaji, Tanaji Marusuri, all these people were farmers, woodcutters, barbers, commoners, potters. But all these people, they believed in Shiva's vision and they all got trained by the commanders of Shiva and thus was the formidable Maratha military form. Eventually it was formed. One can teach a person to fight. It's a skill that can be taught. But you cannot make someone fight with valor and give away your life. And yet all these people from different uh, socio-economic strata uh, castes, backgrounds, religions, joined this army and fought alongside Shiva. Why? They did not give away their lives for Shivaji's kingdom. They did not fight for Bosla dynasty's kingdom. They fought for their own kingdom. They all fought for Swaraj. Swaraj in Marathi means Swataha Saracha. Translated in English, it means one's own country, one's own kingdom. Every one of these Mauras believed that they were fighting for their own kingdom. And that's why the weakest of the weak and the poorest of the poor citizens contributed to Swaraja in their own capacity and built it, helped Shiva build it brick by brick. Thus was his leadership skills and thus was his inspiration skills. And Shiva also always thought that this was a kingdom of people, Rayate Saraj. He never looked upon it as his own kingdom to rule. It was Rayate Saraj and he was a mere custodian of that kingdom. And he, throughout his life, he really conducted himself not with the swagger of a king, but with a deep sense of responsibility of a custodian. And hence, he was in fact reluctant for his own coronation. Something which we have come together to celebrate. And thankfully his advisors, elders, his gurus, reminded him what coronation stood for. It was not ascension of one person to the throne. It was meant not for Shiva, but for his people, for the people of the land. 
because after being ruled for centuries by foreign invaders and tyrant rulers, here was a chance when someone amongst these people had risen up, fought back and established a kingdom. And they all looked upon it as their kingdom and they wanted their own chosen king to rule their going for them. Thus, coronation of Shivaji, what it meant for every single person? It instilled a strong sense of confidence, a sense of self-worth, a hope for a better life and more importantly, a spirit to fight against all odds to claim that better life. And it went on after that. That is the significance of coronation of Shivaji And how it was done in grandeur and glory, our next eminent speaker will elaborate further on that. So, here I stop. I just bow to the memory of this legendary king by saying four lines the way his own guru described him to Samartha Ramdas. Nishchayatsa Mahamed Bahu Janansa Adharu Akhanda Sitiza Nirdharu Shri That's how we all remember him and I bow to his memory and conclude my speech. With this coronation, Shivaji established a new era called uh, Rajabhishek Shaka. He introduced the royal sealer, Rajamudra. The Rajya Vyavahara Kosha Dictionary showing Sanskrit Prakrit terminologies for the state administration. Shivaji appointed the Ashta Pradhan or Council of Eight Ministers. To benefit farmers, he introduced Rajyotwari or uh, collection of direct taxes from the farmers instead of collecting through middlemen. He encouraged trade, he developed a formidable military and also a navy. He built several forts, 250 forts approximately. Shivaji uh, built sea forts such as the Vijayagra, Vijayagur, Sindhudur to take on the Portuguese and the British. Chhatrapati Shivaji instituted many administration and military reforms which are detailed in a book called Agnya Patra written by Ramachandra Pal, who was one of his uh, ministers. But establishing Swaraj took Shivaji 30 years. After which a grand coronation ceremony led by a learned pandit uh, named Gagabhat was held at private. To describe Chhatrapati Shivaji's coronation scene, we have with us Mr. Amit Vaikar. Mr. Weicker is a senior vice president with the Food and Beverages Company and he is a committed social worker. Mr. Weicker, I welcome you. शिवाजी महाराज की इससे ना करूं तो वो ठीक नहीं रहेगा। I am grateful that uh, this wonderful opportunity has been given to me. The reason I am grateful is that this is truly a person who has mesmerized me, who is a role model for me, and very shortly I am going to tell you the, the wondrous scene that you see here. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, a legendary warrior. ये मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ, this is not something that I am saying. Can you believe that in the 16th century there was actually a newspaper being printed in France? That is the level of research that I have done about this man, in which this is what Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj has been described. He was compared to none other than, than uh, Alexander the Great. Now, I am biased and I feel that the only person that Shivaji Maharaj can be compared is Shivaji Maharaj himself or the great Lord Krishna. But again, leave my bias on the side. <laughs> the word that has been described, which has which has captivated my attention all these years, is Sriman Yogi. 
श्रीमान योगी ये जो शब्द है दिस वर्ड हैज बीन गिवन टू छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज बाय गंगाधर भट्ट अब ये गंगाधर भट्ट कौन है दिस दिस इज अ मोस्ट एमिनेंट गुरु और और गुरु जी फ्रॉम काशी उनकी महानता इतनी है कि काशी में जो आरती होती है दैट फर्स्ट मान द फर्स्ट आरती वॉज डन बाय गंगाधर भट्ट ही इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गागा भट्ट दिस इज द सेम जेटमैन देर इज स्क्रिप्चर्स आफ्टर स्क्रिप्चर्स ऑफ हिज लव एंड हिज रिकॉर्ड विच आर एक्चुअली बीन फाउंड एंड देर एक्चुअली इन म्यूजियम इन पुणे एंड वॉट आर द नेम्स ऑफ दीज There is some, something called as Shivraya Stuti, beautiful. The way he has described it. Uh, there is also Rajya Vishay Prayog, because according to him, this was an experiment that was conducted, which was successfully conducted. This is what has been written about these wonderful books. He coined the word. Why? Because he said Shivaji is a tyagi, nirvasin, sun, vairagi, rishi. Muni, if the circumstances had not made this man or forced this man to hold a sword in his hand, these were the qualities that he had, and that is where the Shriman Yogi character comes in. Now, let me tell you, this is this is an important piece. What happens? Months and months of preparation by his his mother was trying to to convince our beloved king. to to get the coronation done being the shriman yogi he refused but aryabhat had to come all the way from kashi he had come to kashi he had come to pune or come to maharashtra after 10 long years and he was the one who convinced shivaji maharaj in in his in his words i was trying to read before i came he says you are right now an administrator You need to become a king. आप प्रयोग कर रहे हैं आप उस प्रयोग को सफल कर दिया है अब शासन अगर प्रस्तापित करना है तो आपको राजा बनना पड़ेगा ही ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन टू हिम द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ धर्म अर्थ काम एंड निष्ठा एंड दैट इज वॉट शिवाजी फाइनली एक्सेप्टेड बट वन इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल दैट आई हैव टू टेल यू यू आर ऑल गोट टू बी मूव एंड देर फोर यू नीड टू नो वॉट अ लेजेंडरी पर्सन दिस इज एक्सैक्टली अ मंथ before this coronation day very few people know this and these are stories which i wish were told but no worries we will tell these stories this is a fact this has been written in the shivaji looked east of his capital city and 43 kilometers from that was a fort which was still belonging to adil shah adil shah ka kila tab bhi tha what was the name of this fort so that you can go and actually check this yourself this this was called kingalgad those who are familiar with maharashtra will know that there is there are two mountain ranges there is a vai mountain range and there is a bhor mountain range in between these two is kingalgad shivaji maharaj said that my coronation cannot be complete till the fort is won but here is your nishchaya sa mahameru who says i have lost enough of my brothers a month before his coronation he says i will go his nine jewels Spawn on his feet and tell him, "Aapko jaane ke zarurat nahi hai." This will be the best gift that we can give you. Each of them is fighting amongst each other. Who will win that fort for our Chhatrapati? Chhatrapati says nothing doing. On the 24th of April at midnight, Chhatrapati attacks this fort. Uh, exactly a month before the coronation. Did it? Then we need to understand the significance of this. You are going to be coronated as a Maharaj, a Chhatrapati. a month before that you go and you fight at the dead of the night not fearing for your life that is the valor which made this coronation even more special um uh, some facts which will make you very interesting how big the coronation was numbers vary but to the best account 50000 people attended this coronation 50000 my ladies and gentlemen it was not a small coronation we should know about this and this whole place uh, raigad was actually decked up for 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 let's say a, a year there was a year planning that happened before that here you see on the photo that is that is raja shambhaji that that there is his his beloved mother standing there in between here there is a poet aur ye poet jo hai ye bahut khaas hai because inhone mere jaise 
शिवाजी महाराज को जानने वाले जो पीपल हुआ रियली कीन अबाउट हिम ही हैज गिवन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ ब्यूटिफुल पोएम्स द पोएट हियर सेज एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिसाइड दिस फर्स्ट एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू सी योर रिएक्शन इंद्र जिमी जंब पर बाढ़ वसु अंब पर रावण स्वदंब पर रघुकुल राज है इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स देन ऑफ कोर्स यू क्लैप बट नाउ लेट मी टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड ही सेज लाइक लॉर्ड इंद्र Like Lord Indra is against the demon Jambu, like Vamana has defeated Bali, small Vamana defeats Bali, like Ram is against Ravana. That is how my Shiva is looking today. Indra ji ni dam bhagara, Bharat ji ni dam bhagara, Ravana ji ni dam bhagara, Ragu kula raj hai. Pavan bari baah par, Pavan bari baah par, Samburati raah par, Jo sahasro daav par, Ravan se viraj. Again, what does he say? Like Lord Shiva, like Lord Shiva has fought against Rati's husband. Who is Rati's husband? The Kamdev. Kamdev pe jaise Shiva ne vijay paayi hai, jaise hamare Parshuram ji ne Sahasra Bahu pe vijay paayi hai, waise hi saare saare sithiyo ko pe vijay paake mile aaj Shiv Shiv Shivraj waha baithe hue. These words suddenly become very different to you when you understand the meanings of these words. Another interesting fact: before the coronation, uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji was was made to bath, to bathe. Why was this very important? Waters from seven rivers of India were brought in. Can you imagine the preparation that must have gone that that must have gone into this preparations? Which were these rivers? Ganga, Sindhu, Yamuna. Godavari, Narmada, and Kaveri. There was a huge pot of gold that was filled, and Rara Bhatt actually held that over Shubha's head as water flowed through him. This entire Simhasan weight is 36 tons. It is sometimes we 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 wonder at the at the quality of it. What was the grandeur? This was the first international coronation. Why? Because you see, not only British, there were British, there were Portuguese, there were French, there were Arabs standing there. What was so special? A British, uh, uh, yes, a British uh, traveler who actually visited here says that the thing that marvelled him about this coronation was that Raigad, where this coronation happened, is a very difficult port. I would really encourage you to go and and visit there. हमारा चलते चलते हमारी सांस आज भी फूल जाती है. Two large elephants were brought up. And those elephants, those gajraj, were made to wait outside. There were a fleet of beautiful white horses that were kept out. And when after the after the coronation, the whole procession started, which with uh, with Chhatrapati Shivaji on top of one of those uh, elephants. Why then do you feel that this was a, such an important coronation? Why does it you know make me so moved? We need to understand that before this. Indian kingdoms and which are these? Which are these kingdoms? Indraprastha, Varangal, Devgiri, Vijayawada, Chittor, Karnavati. They were all raised. This was the watershed moment where an Indian king stood up and said, "I stand for freedom. I stand for Swaraj." You know, it is so important for me that I get moved by these things because every 15th August. when we celebrate our independence it is so important for us to actually remember this day and say it is my country it is my president it is my parliament it is my currency it is my market it is my free nation and the start of that was this coronation ladies and gentlemen that is why this coronation is my in my opinion one of the most important coronations thank you so much once again shivaji maharaj ki
the Divine Mother was a source of strength and courage for Shivaji Raji, who was an ardent devotee. It would be followed by a tribute to this great king, who, like Lord Rama, always works for the benefit of his people. Following this would be a legend dance, the dance of victory depicting valor and strength. The grand finale will celebrate the glory of Chhatrapati Shivaji. The artists in each of these in these segments are Akshata and Pavan, uh, Hamad Dishwil and Murti Mohanji, Arya, Riya and Shruti, Kalush and Hanush. Oh, oh, oh. 
Without this, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, I would just like to very quickly say that was a folk poem from Maharashtra that they have presented, and what they are wearing is called a navari. It's a sari that's of nine yards, and there's a very typical way of being able to wear it. Okay, which is very rarely nowadays worn in daily uh, occasions. It's one only for some festival uh, events that we have. So we now present what um, he just said, the poet Bhushan uh, has described Shivaji as uh, a warrior or equated him with the God himself. Could be Avtars of Vishnu, could be Shiva. Um, we will try and present this in the Kathak form, uh, Hamad and myself. This is uh, not anywhere close to the valor of Shivaji Maharaji, uh, but we'll try our best to do what we can. by my two little friends, Tanush and Dhanush. Hmm. 
this program uh, to celebrate the occasion of Chhatrapati Shivaji. May I now in a request to Ambassador Ma'am to felicitate the guest speakers and artists. Ms. Arpita, please come forward. Thank you. 